Hey guys, welcome to the Wish Tech channel. Today we are going to be installing this EM Canon conversion kit onto this Matrix M4. This Matrix M4 is a sports line Gen 3. All right, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove the front barrel assembly and the stock. So first I'm going to show you how to remove the front barrel assembly. So on this guy, it's real simple. You're just going to take this grip off. Because you have this pipe here, you have to remove that too. And all it is is uh, you gotta knock out these two pins and slide this forward and this drops out. All right, now that we've got the pipe out, then we'll turn our focus to the front here. If you're wondering, I'm leaving the receiver together to make it easier to uh, take off this nut here. And so you're gonna need to grab yourself one of these wrenches. You can find these on eBike or at your local sportswear store. So this is gonna take some effort. Oh, actually not. That was actually a really easy. That came off pretty easy. So now we just unscrew this. Now I can take the upper off. Okay, we're gonna have to take off the ha grip handle. Okay. So now we're going to get the stock off. So to take off your stock here on most airsoft guns, first fully extend it. Then you'll pull this, this part right here as far down as you possibly can. From here, we're going to take the buffer tube off. So if you have a Matrix M4, that's what you're going to unscrew. So you want to get yourself a pretty long screwdriver like this. This is also how you change out your quick change spring on these Matrix Sportline M4s. Then you want to take your screwdriver, put it on this end, and push out that washer. Make sure to keep it in this orientation. Actually, we probably won't be using this anyway because the conversion kit gets rid of this. And that's it. Uh, you're pretty much ready to install the conversion kit. Uh, for the most part. So we're gonna start off, let's go back to the upper and we're gonna get the front assembly put on. I'm gonna grab this guy, this guy, and of course these screws. And we'll just take it over to our workbench. Okay. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna take this guy right here so you're going to take this flat side here and you're going to turn it, face it down, just drop it right in and it should look like that. Nice and flat. You're going to take your little disc here and screw this down. You just get it as tight as you can. If you want, you could just go to put some Loctite on the threads. If you have issues with it coming loose, you're going to line up your Picatinny rail with that groove right there. Give it a good slap, make sure it's in, seated all the way. Then from the little baggie here, you're gonna grab two set screws. The set screw should thread in there just fine. You're gonna take your two millimeter Allen. So you take your little set screws out of that baggie and you'll insert them on both sides, one on each side of your conversion kit here. So off camera guys, I had to grab some different set screws because the ones that come with this kit are horrible. They strip out way too easy oh and I couldn't God. even get them to, to tighten down. Suck. But anyways, the upper's installed and that's about it just for the upper. That was pretty simple. So now we'll move on and get the stock put on. Gonna grab the stock, gonna install it in this M4. I like to call it the striker. Eh. Trying to do this one hand, it sucks. Look at that, ooh, battery indicator. And it does work, by the way. Done. Just kidding. Okay, so this step is probably gonna be a lot easier than what we just did there, so. Okay, so we're gonna have to remove this plate. So we need as much purchase of this that we need because the screws here 
two of them are gonna grab onto that guy and then now the other ones are just pretty much gonna sit there. This stock normally works on a receiver that has a longer buffer tube attachment thing. You take your little wazzy here and you insert it in the holder. You're gonna open up the cap behind here. Grab the wire, pull it through, and then it's as simple as just wiggling it on. It goes on real tight, which is good. We want that. And there you go. And then all you gotta do now is take your upper, slide your upper on. So you're gonna take these two screws out. Okay, once you have those screws out, don't lose your two nuts here. You can slide your receiver on the rest of the way. Then you'll run your body pin back in on the front to hold it in place. Should be up. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do, if you notice that these, these are loose on, a, on purpose, so this makes it adjustable. So then now you can run your screws back in. Start them off loose. So once you get the other one in, then you can tighten it up. Once you get those tightened down, then you'll want to tighten these two and both these on both sides. All four screws, these two and the other two on the other side are completely tight. And then you just want to tighten these up on top of here. Uh, this guy right here clamps down on your top rail here. So you'll just finish tightening those up and that's about it. Now, if you guys have any questions, and you need some help on this uh, project, or if there's other questions that you have uh, that, that you may have, down in the description down below, you can check out the Discord channel and join the Wish Tech community and uh, other social media. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe if this helped you, and have a good one.